So let's take a look uh, at a new feature in uh, Video Studio Pro X5 called Rotopen. Rotopen is from ProDad, a German company making visual effects for video. And if you go into your effects tab in Video Studio Ultimate, you will find Rotopen. Now Rotopen is a uh, very interesting little plugin that allows you to trace everything from map roots and add a icon, as well as doing a little bit of simple rotoscoping on top of photographs. So let's go through and make a map route. So first I'm going to grab a map that I have, and here's a map of Brisbane. Let me just zoom in a bit here. There's a map happening there. And what I want to do is I want to trace a route going from Brisbane down through this highway number 5 and then back up highway number 2. So <clears throat> double click on the clip, then I'll go to Effects and go down to my Roto Pen. Drop that onto the timeline. And you know right away, you can see here that it has a, a, the airplane with a path by default, and I want the path to be my own. So I'll double click on the clip again, and I'll notice that within my effects tree, I have Rotopen. I click on Customize Filter. <coughs> now, you have your map coming through, and this uh, could be any map, obviously. So here I have my map coming through, and I want to use my mouse and the left button and drag the pen down the highway. You'll notice that it actually comes pretty close to matching the way the highway is formed. And then I'll take a left turn on Ipswich Road and go up through Muruka and Yurungpili and Yurunga, and then go back up here to South Brisbane. So there's one route. I can actually make additional routes, so they will draw on one after another. So this, you can see, is route number one. Let me go and make route number two. So, for example, on day one, we did a bicycle tour through this highway here. On day two, we went over to Kenmore, and we went down the smaller highways around Kenmore. And using the detail of my mouse, I'm just sort of tracing through where this highway goes. And we took a little side road here. We portaged across a river and went over to West Hill and then back to there. So now I have route number two. Hit next down here in the bottom. If you don't want to keep these routes, you can just highlight one and you can hit the red X on the top here. It will delete a route. So let me go next. So now I have my two routes on screen. You can see here now on the bottom left side of the screen, it gives me a little preview with the default path. And it tells me how long it's going to take to do that route based on how long it is in the timeline. Up in the top right hand of the screen, I have my path editor. So here is the path tab. The default path is this white path with a black outline. Let me go in and, and select a different path. So I will select, for instance, this blue path. And you'll notice now in the preview down on the left side, there's a blue path being drawn. And I want to use a symbol. So as I mentioned, it was going to be a bicycle ride. So I'll go down here and I'll say traveler symbol click on that and it has a number of symbols you can download symbols as well so here I'll use a bicycle now <clears throat> when you're using a symbol you want it to follow a path in a certain way you don't want it to look kind of strange so you can say retrace your route but here it gives you a, diff a number of different options of how you will retrace your route in this case if I roll over the car here the sample you can see the car stays level in this case here the car stays level but it's going the other way so I want the car, or the bicycle rather, to follow the path. So you can see there it goes, following the path. The car is going down, turns and goes up. So that's the one I want to use. Now if you go again down to your preview, you'll notice that the bicycle is going to be coming down, and there it is, going down the highway. The next thing I want to do is on my second path, I want to change that path. And, and I could use the same uh, blue if I like, but in this case I'm going to use a black and yellow. And again, on day two, Maybe I didn't take a, uh, a bicycle. I'll change it over in my symbol. I'll change it over to a car. And we did had our top down. It was a beautiful day. And there's the car. I can change the size as well of my icon. And again, it will preview down here, down this area here. Let me retrace the route, make sure the car follows the route. OK, I'll use that. And there you go. Now there is one thing here called timing, which will al allow you to leave the, uh, the roots on screen for a duration. So if you wanted to have it draw on and then stay on screen, I'm going to say here, uh, let's hold it at the end for five seconds. Okay, 
then basically that's it. You do have a control on painting speed on how fast it <coughs> how fast it draws the root. So I'll just say apply. <coughs> now, if I scrub through here, you'll notice very quickly that your root has been drawn. Your bicycle is flying along, and there's your car convertible, top down, flying through. Very very simple way of using paths and being able to draw out a map. Now you can go in here as well and you can add other effects to this because Video Studio allows you to tree effects. So if I double click for instance on the clip again, you'll notice that Roto Pen is there. Let me add a, an effect where it would uh, allow me to change it into a monochrome color in the background. So I'm going to go here to my roots, or rather to my uh, effects, and I will go and pick arbitrarily. I'm going to pick wrote a sketch, pop that on top. You'll notice it's all black and white now, but because Video Studio has a treed approach, I can go and put my roto sketch effect before my roto pen. So now you'll notice that it's a roto sketched, and then I have my roots in color. So you can add a lot of different things with roto pen. You can have a lot of fun with your maps. Let's try another effect where it's more to do with rotoscoping, as if you're painting on to a video. So let me go up to my graphics here, <clears throat> and I'm going to grab a piece of jewelry here, you can see. Now what I want to do with this jewelry is I want to sort of do a little bit of dynamic outlining. <clears throat> so I'll go into my Effects tab, and I'll go down to Roto Pen, drop that onto my effect, and then I'll go Customize the Filter by double-clicking. I can say Customize the Roto Pen Filter. Now here are my earrings. And I can go in here and just quickly say scribble on, scribble on there. That's root number one, root number two, scribble on there. And I can actually write something here too. Say cool. And again, a little bit of care and you could do some neat, neat stuff with it. I'll say next. And for the first root, I'm going to use this. For the second root, I'm going to use this, this path. I'm not going to use a symbol in this case. There's no need to use a symbol. And on the third root, I'm going to use this. All the previews come out right here, so I'll say Apply. And now you have rotoscoping on top. Very, very simple rotoscoping. And if I hit Play, you'll see the cool is going to get written on here. There you go. Very, very, very simple. Now, because, as I mentioned earlier, Video Studio allows you to cascade effects and put them into a tree, if I double-click, you'll notice that the only effect here is Rotopen. I can go in here and add another effect, say for instance ripple. Now the rippling will happen while the roto pen is going. Not maybe an effect you want to go for, so I can double click and change the order of those effects. I'll say do the ripple first and then follow on with the roto pen. So here I have the roto pen and the ripple happening beforehand. Another useful area for the roto pen is to have written text. So you could use a sketch of a piece of paper that you've done and you've captured through your webcam or whatever, a little piece of paper with your signature, and you can bring it into here and uh, copy the uh, Rotopen um, effect onto, that, onto the uh, signature, write the thank you or write whatever message you wanted to do, and then just say apply, and then you have a written on uh, signature. Very, very handy. So have fun with Rotopen. I think it's one of the neatest tools in Video Studio Ultimate.